Soccer for me is kind of just like it's like a passion. It's just like um, something I do to get away, you know, from all the the edu the school and stuff like that. So it's just like my go to to just have fun, you know, to just do something that I love to do. And it's been that outlet for me basically my whole life. And so um, I honestly don't know what I do without soccer because it's just been everything to me ever since I was a little girl. And yeah. I mean, I don't really think about, you know, how much goals I'm going to score, how much, um, you know, going into the game. I just kind of think of what I need to do to help my team, you know, win or um, help my team be in the best possible position, you know, to get a win. And so I don't really think about that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's just um, it's just like I couldn't have done it without my team. And like it's not just about me scoring goals, but like it's it goes back to the defense and you know how they do their jobs and how they execute you know the stuff that they're supposed to be doing um well this is kind of the first year you know we're set going into our last two games with three wins i don't think um since i've been here we've gotten um three wins so i think it kind of shows you know that even though we're a young team, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or, you know, how young you are. Like, you can make an impact on this team. And I think that this year as a team, like, we didn't really, we didn't single out any of the freshmen. It's just, like, anyone on the team had the ability to, you know, make a difference. Whether you're on the field or not on the field, I think that that mentality, that kind of culture that we created for the team was what um, really pushed us apart from previous um, seasons, previous mm -hmm. teams, yeah. Well, I think that um, we kind of got to build like a, a relationship since we got to UH because I didn't really know her before this and so I think it was awesome to be able to build that relationship, especially like two local players, you know. And so when me and Sarah first met, we kind of got along like the quickest and so um, it was awesome to just have, you know, someone else, another local girl with you. And so um, ending this season with her is just, it's really awesome. and we've been through so much together you know from freshman year and just like as a program you know changed i think we've been through a lot and i think that um what we want to do now is um kind of leave our legacy behind you know she really likes to pinpoint things like being a good person you know doing the right things and just um, it wasn't always about soccer with Coach Bud and that's what I really like about her because she tries to instill, you know, um, virtues just like um, honesty, you know, integrity and things like that that I definitely can use, you know, off the field in my future career or what I choose to do and so um, I'm really thankful for Coach Bud and, you know, Coach Mark um, and all the assistant coaches right now is Coach Rachel but we've been through quite a few and I think um, each of them have taught me a lot of things that I could use and that's been very helpful. Well, soccer was pretty much my main sport too. Mm -hmm. um, it was I'd always go back and forth. I'd I'd always like have soccer, softball games during the weekends. I play club soccer and softball as well. And so um, I don't know. I think I just um, soccer was just like a little bit more serious as far as taking it to the next level. I did a lot more traveling for soccer, but I mean, I enjoyed both of the sports just as much. And so um, I just decided to play soccer um, here at college, yeah. It was against Nevada, I believe. Um, we It was at Reno. It was like a 2 p.m. game. It was like hot, super hot. And um, we ended up losing that game though, but it was my first goal, I remember. And it was just an amazing feeling because um, my freshman year I struggled um, to um, get, get minutes um, coming off an of injury and stuff. So I think that um, that goal kind of really gave me confidence. And so it was like kind of a breakthrough for me just because like, you know, freshman coming in. And so it was really awesome. Mm, I kind of look up to a lot of the women's... Um, professional players now. Um, I think specifically more like Carly Lloyd just because I love her work ethic, her um, just her mindset toward the game, toward you know she's a good person off the field and um, she's really like industrious, hardworking um, and she put like she does all the extra things, all the little things you know that 
people don't usually notice and so I actually read one of her books and it's just like kind of her life story of how she started soccer and just her journey um, as a soccer player and mm -hmm. yeah. Um, plans after, well I hope to um, make it to the next level so I want to try to play professional soccer um, and it's always been a dream you know to make it to that level and so that's kind of what I want to do um, as far um, as after UH but I'm also applying for the Skepin program like a nursing program so we'll see like where life it, it's like all kind of up in the air we'll see but mm -hmm. the first thing is just to try to play at the next level it goes by so fast <laughs> no I mean it feels like I just got here as a freshman and so it's just can't take can't take anything for granted because it goes by so quick and my times here has been awesome and I really loved um, this program the coaches and the teammates the relationships I've been able to build yeah